what's it like to be socially isolated? Um, it's quite strange. <laughs> My life basically is back garden, car ride to Solihull Hospital and then bloods, chemotherapy, mobile chemotherapy and then being um, disattached from mobile chemotherapy and a week of absolutely no hospitals. Today is day five of 90, week one of being self-isolated. I could go outside and just see the world as it really is when I'm at hospital. And um, it's a very strange world at the moment. Last night at 8 p.m. we all opened our front doors and in my little cul-de-sac, there was about six houses that um, applauded and clapped the NHS, the doctors, the nurses and all the staff, uh, the cleaners, the porters, the receptionists, everybody that works for the NHS and we just clapped them and it was lovely. We live on a main road and you could hear the uh, clapping and the applauding echoing all the way down the Warwick Road and they look after us very, very well. And, and, and they deserve lots and lots of applause and clapping. I mean, they deserve a medal. So it's a very beautiful world because you can hear the birds and you can hear the children playing and that's really nice. And everything has just slowed down. Everything's just a gentle Sunday afternoon pace at the moment. So next week, it's gonna be a tough one because basically I will not be leaving where I live. So I'm getting lots of vitamin D and lots of vitamin C. So um, yeah, life's okay. <laughs> Got another 11 weeks of this and halfway through chemotherapy. So yeah, 